change machines were invented in the mid-1950s. Vending machines were becoming more popular, driving a need for change. They began as simple mechanical coin changers, converting a quarter into nickels and dimes. Today's modern machines can even convert $20 bills. Times sure have changed. It's like magic. In goes the bill, and presto, out comes the exact change. But there's no sleight of hand, just innovative design and some pretty high-tech equipment. Production begins with the machine's cabinet. A computer-guided laser cuts the cabinet parts from a sheet of steel, measuring 1 by 1.5 meters. Workers shake the parts free and push out the openings in the panel that will become the cabinet's front door. They shape the parts in a machine called a press brake. This is one of the door panels. The machine forces it against a die, bending the edge. These bent edges will strengthen the door and help it fit snugly into the frame. The laser cutter also makes a series of holes in another cabinet part. Then workers press threaded studs into the holes. A vibrating feeder dispenses the studs into the insertion machine they use. Now they bend the sheet, again using a press brake, and make the three-sided panel that will become the cabinet sides and back. To that, they attach the top and bottom panels. Then they set it in position on a computerized welding station and rotate the table. A robot makes precision welds behind a steel partition that shields the worker from heat and harmful rays. Now they assemble the change machine's coin dispenser. It has two counter-rotating discs fitted to the diameter and thickness of a coin. They work together to seize and align the coins, then drop the change into the coin chute. Workers set in these metal discs and a plastic gear mechanism that rotates them. Then they secure the parts on a fixture and drill holes into the gear mechanism. Next, they insert roll pins to hold the parts together. The coin discs, if properly assembled, will spin freely. Now workers can assemble the coin dispenser discs and gears. This is precision work. First, they set parts in a metal casing. Plastic rings go around the discs to guide and support the gears. Then they attach the gear train motor that powers the discs that dispense the correct change. A plastic guide on the casing helps the coins drop in properly. Next comes a coin chute that guides the change out of the dispenser into the machine's coin cup. The dispenser holds up to $800, which can weigh a hefty 20 kilos, so they add a handle, which locks in with this tool called a ring fastener. Now it's time to put it all together. First, they install the electric power supply on the inside back wall. Next comes the bill validator and the coin cup. Then the coin dispenser and electronic control board, the brains of the machine that calculates the change. Finally, on go the instruction decals. So, how does it all work? Let's open the door and see. First, the bill acceptor scans the bill's paper and ink and stacks it in a box. Then, ka-ching! Out comes the exact change.